This shiny app is the part one on linear regression with R. Here we cover a brief introduction of linear regression, list of five main assumptions of linear regression, model evaluation criteria, and plots and statistic test to validate the compliance to those assumptions. Assum the linear regression is one of the most popular machine learning algorithms based on supervised learning. It is used to study the linear relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. Those five major assumptions are linearity, no multicollinearity, independence, homocytosticity, and normality. I have provided two links in this this dashboard, one on introduction and another one that is detailed explanation of assumptions. Now I will tell you how it works. Let us browse, choose for example empty cars dataset and import it into our application. Next review the dataset. Please note that this system will add only numeric fields, categorical feeds in the dataset will be ignored. Next you have option to delete unwanted columns in the dataset. For example ID. Fortunately you don't have anything like that in this dataset. Next is the selection of dependent and independent variables and building models for our linear regression analysis. Here, you will select dependent variable and click the button above that. In the middle you have the option to choose the type of regression. If you choose simple and add independent variables, you will see simple linear models generated in the table below. Alternatively, if you choose multiple and select independent variables, you will see single line entry on the table, meaning multiple regression model criteria. Please note that you have option to add only a maximum of 10 models. This is mainly to facilitate clear view when we generate multiple charts. You will see options to delete row by row from the model table and also to clear entire table are provided. You can see those amber buttons on the bottom right and left side of the screen. See those charts shortly. Something special here, you have option to mix both types of models here. If you choose multiple and select one, now we have out 10 models ready for the test of assumptions of linear regression. Out of five assumptions. The first two are of individual variable diagnostics and rest of the three are of residual diagnostic. Here we have plots and statistics in tabs to test assumptions. All 10 plots are arranged in grids. You will see a short tips when you hover on click me button. Further if you click on this button you will see this screen which will show you the results of Pearson correlation coefficient test. Hypothesis. It's p-value and interpretation of p-values confirming whether linearity is present or not. There are two links on the footer, when you follow, you will have better understanding of p Next we are in multicollinearity. Here we use variance inflation factor and test this assumption. There is a rule of thumb to interpret the results of variance inflation. Similar to previous screen, click me button will take you to brief note on this multicollinearity. And there are links for further study. From here let us do residual diagnostics. First is the test of autocorrelation. We use Durbin-Watson test interpretation of results are provided. Next is the homocedenticity. Here we use the Bruce pagan test. You have the interpretation of results for this dataset. Links in the footer are for better understanding of the Here we use QQ plot and statistical tests to confirm whether residuals follow normal distribution. Here we do five types of statistics tests to confirm the normality of residuals. Models having green p-values confirms the normality of the residuals. Here you could see uniformity of results of those five. Interesting option on the right side of the screen. Similar to Flipbox, I have used flashcard package. Kindly browse the net for more understanding of this flashcard pack. It is possible for a single observation to have a great influence on the results of a regression analysis. Here we do measure of influence using Cook's D bar chart and standardized residual chart. Click change chart type button to play with. There another interesting option of selecting few models to have a better view or zoomed view of the plots for further insight. Once you choose view models, plots and statistics relating to residuals in other tabs also get the same impact, you will see zoomed view of those chosen models.
Please note that this option is just a filter, you can always get all models back on the screen when you select all from the drop-down at the top middle of the screen. Next is the all-in-one tab having six plots together for the selected model. You have option to select one by one to review. Here I use Fortify package and R suitable links are provided for better understanding of the subject. Sidebar panel is fully hidden to take advantage of the screen. As there are only three tabs in this app, right and left arrow buttons provided on the top of the screen controls those tab movements. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Your feedback on this video will help me a lot. Please leave your comments. Consider subscribing if you like my videos.